everyone welcome to bikini design club once more today i'm here to show you how you can sew our new activewear mid tight shorts uh, this is a different pattern from the lizzie so this is inspired on the lizzie pattern the first pattern we released as shorts activewear for all our customers but this one is a bit different because the curves are a little bit, a little bit different the high is a little bit different also and we have a special feature here because we will include uh, this beautiful stretch lace uh, as a, a detail on the front and an another lace on the back. So let me explain you what pattern pieces we have here and what you will be able to find at bikinidesignclub.com on our members pattern because this will be an exclusive members pattern. So uh, you have the bands, the waistband for the front and of course we have already cut it the main fabric and also our lining our second fabric on the second fabric we removed the top seam allowance because we will sew another stitch on the waistline this means that you will not have no stitch visible on the waistline and that's something that we are used to do also on bikinis and we also do on the top of the um, front and also the same for the bands on the back then we have cut it two pattern pieces that will be combined with the waistband, two pattern pieces that will be placed here as a, a, a strap, but a st not a strap, but like a, it looks like a strap, but like a small detail with the lace and then the lower parts of the front shorts. Something that I want to explain you here is that we have the, the stretch lace and underneath the stretch lace we have also cut it to uh, of power mesh so this will make the pattern be stable because the this has a lot of stretch and if we didn't stabilize it with the power mesh this will all uh, stretch on this area which we don't want to happen and besides that we also can achieve a little bit more coverage when we use the power mesh underneath so it will, it will look like it's your skin, but in reality, you will have the power mesh before you have your skin visible. Now let's talk about the back pattern pieces. Very simple. We have the two lower parts of our um, shorts, the two bands, waist bands. One of them uh, cut it normally and the other one, we removed the seam allowance from the waist top, just like we did for the front. And then we have here these two uh, fabrics, this, the power net and the lace again. We cut it two of them. This pattern piece will be placed between the waist and the lower part. If you want, take a look at these pictures that I'm gonna pop up here and you will be able to see the final results so that you understand better the pieces. Now let's start sewing them together and um, doing our shorts. This is quite an easy and quick pattern to do, to sew. So I'm gonna tell you what we can prepare before we go to the sewing machine. So regarding the back, with right sides facing together, you can start by pinning both on the front and on the back the curved here from the top to the bottom we can cur we can place these right sides facing together and we will be able to sew it the same we can do for our front so again with right sides facing together the center pinned together then we can also prepare uh, the parts where we will have the power mesh and also the um, the stretch lace so i will do a basting stitch all around the, the longer edges of these two fabrics just to combine them together and to make this easier when i combine this piece with the top waist and also with the lower part of our my shorts to make sure that they don't stretch they are stabilized they are together and the seams are perfect so i will pin together on these two long, longer edges and I will do the same for these pieces here. So this for these ones, we just need to make sure that we do symmetric because they will be symmetric patterns. So one will be like so, to one of the legs and the other, so they were like so and the other will be like so. 
and underneath we can place this. here and here okay and now we are also going to stabilize them oh this is not correct this is like so they, they should match perfectly because they are cut it using the same pattern piece so just need to place them together and again, just like we did on the other on the other one, we will uh, pin the longer edges here on both of them. This one, this one, and we will do a basting stitch just to make sure that uh, the lace is in place. As you can see, when I cut it, I must have done something uh, on the lace pattern, which make this makes this uh, not. Uh, Perfect. So I'm gonna cut again a new uh, piece of lace so that this matches, uh, and then I'm gonna sew all, also here. So so this one, the band and the front and back we have just pinned, and we uh, can come back to tell you the next step. We can also already uh, combine our fabrics front and back. So this is the front and this is the back. I want to make sure that I remember which is the front and which is the back so I'm going to grab a little bit bit of paper and I'm gonna write front and I'm gonna pin this to the fabric just because I want to make sure that they are slightly different so I want to make sure that I know which is which so I'm gonna pin make sure that later I know which is my front and which is my back uh, but then what we can do already is combine the linings together right sides facing together for the linings and the same for our main fabric and we can combine the sides on both of them so pin and besides all of this that we are going to sew we are also going to combine the sides have my two waistbands uh, here and so this is my front as you remember and this is my front and so with right sides facing together I can place them one inside the other my main fabric will not be this textured one it will be the plain fabric so I'm gonna align the side seam on the top of the waist I'm going to align the opposite side seam again pinning here on the sides and once I have aligned all the waist area I and I have pins all around I'm gonna sew on my overlock or serger and I'm gonna place elastic on the edge of the of the of my sewing uh, and when I sew the elastic, I will place the elastic on the side of my of my main fabric. So, as I told you, my main fabric is this plain fabric that I have here on top. So I'll be applying elastic on these sides and I will apply elastic all around. I do not add any tension to the elastic. The tension is already um, included in the pattern when, when the pattern is designed. So the pattern, the tension around you is already taken into consideration so I don't give any extra tension on the elastic I just go around okay and once we have done uh, the elastic all around we will do another stitch to stabilize the seam against our uh, lining but I will be on the table I'll come back and I will tell you exactly how you do that so many things to show you so the waist as we talked okay and now uh, the stitch that I told you the under stitch you just open your uh, waistband you flatten your seam towards the side of your lining so to this side I will go to my zigzag to my straight stitch machine and I will do a zigzag never going to the main sides only on this side I will stabilize the seam here with a zigzag okay near 
the, the, the edge of the lining, but never going through uh, this line here. So that's the stabili stabilization that we are going to do on our uh, waistband. Then uh, another thing I did was, where's my other? I think it's along the way, I <laughs> will look for it. Well, I have here my front and my back and besides the waist, the sewing on my um, overlock, serger, whatever, what I also did, I did a stitch, stretch stitch, of course, uh, but it's just straight ahead here, just making sure that my seam is completely secure. One of the things that I want to share with you is that um, you can, decide not to do this but if you want uh, you know that you can do it we have 0 0.8 seam allowances so please read the description on the pattern to get to know um, how this pattern was designed and also please uh, make sure that you print the pattern on your correct size only not all of them together okay now this is the back so we can open the back and we can combine our pattern piece. The curved side is on this lower edge here. So we can combine right sides facing together. We have some different ways on, of sewing this. Today I did this with this technique, but very soon I will do another tutorial with option, optional ways to sew this, to attach the, the lace to the pattern piece. But for now, today, this is the simplest one and uh, it's the one I'm going to show you today. So you just curve slightly the pattern pieces until you have them aligned. You pin the entire edge. You can see that I've done the basting stitch here, which I will remove after because since this is a stretchy fabric, if you don't remove, when you stretch, you will hear the, the threads cracking. And I don't want to hear that when I'm um, putting this on. So we can combine this seam here. And for our front, right sides facing up on the table. There's something wrong here. Ah, oh, no. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. Now this is here. The other one is... Oh, this is... This is here. The other one is on this side. I can confirm with my pattern piece. So no. It's like this. Yes, this is here and this is here. And I will do the same on this side, okay? So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place this one right sides facing together. I'm gonna align and I'm going to pin. And of course, once this is pinned and you overlock this, you will have this attached to the main piece and we will have this edge ready to be sewn right sides facing together with the lower parts of our front shorts. So that's what we will do after we sew this edge. We come to the table, we place this one against this one with right sides facing together and we also sew it. And we will then have an entire front uh, pattern piece ready to be combined with the back. So let's do this for the front and what I've already explained for the back. We now have uh, the front and the back here on the table and we place them right sides facing together and we will align and uh, pin the sides and also here. Uh, and then we will serge on the sides and here and the next step is uh, missing, it will be connecting the waistband to the main piece and it will be ready. So let's go ahead, pin everything, sew, sew and come back. So I want my seam to be facing towards my main fabric, not that side. So on the back I'm gonna make the seam towards the lower parts, while on the top 
I will make the seam go, this one going up. So I will pin this in place. And this lower seam here towards the lower parts of your shorts. I have a piece of fabric sticking out here. This is resulting of the seam allowances. Probably I didn't sew this removing the correct amount of seam allowance. This needs to be accurate when we are combining this piece so that the same length is resulting here. If it's not, it's because we haven't sewn this properly. So make sure you try uh, and make the side seam the same front and back. So we are back on the table. Uh, we now have the center and the side seams together and our waistband. So I just forgot to tell you that I don't think if I, I remember or not, don't forget that we applied elastic here. I think you, I, I told you. Well, now uh, front with front, right sides facing together. Tuck this inside there. And align the side seam on both sides. So here and on the other side. Uh, and we will align the entire area and we will surge the entire area. Just want to tell you that probably it's easier if first you do a basting stitch to secure these two fabrics together. And also uh, it's easier if we mark the middle of this so that we can align the waistband with the, the center front and uh, with the center back. So it's also a good idea to fold or with the pa paper pattern piece uh, to put on top and mark the middle of the front and the back. So I'm gonna do a basting stitch and then I'm gonna come back to align uh, the waistband with my fabric, with my main pattern. ready to sew uh, our waist again uh, if you want you can add elastic in this area but feel free to do or not to do depending on your own personal taste I'm not going to apply elastic this time on this uh, seam and I will uh, put them on and I will share some pictures so that you can see the final results that's it for today guys see you soon bye